About a year ago, this time, our world experienced many drastic changes due to COVID-19, one of which was the education, how it's delivered, how teachers teach, and how students learn. Up until this point, many teachers did not have much experience or training teaching online, if at all, um, whether this be fully online or some sort of hybrid version. Nonetheless, this became, and to some extent still is, the new normal. Whether this looks like teaching five days a week, say at the middle school or high school level, or maybe twice a week or even once a week, say at the college level, each class informs a future class or classes. After a given class, an um, instructor or a teacher may ask themselves a series of questions such as, how engaged was my class today, either with myself or amongst their peers? Or was there ample time for students to ask questions or voice any concerns? Or even, are there other ways that I could enhance the use of tech that I have at my disposal? I can attest to these sorts of questions. I will often ask myself similar ones each Thursday night after I teach a three-hour class earlier that day. It's these sorts of questions, along with the larger idea of past teaching experiences inform future classes that is inherently a Bayesian way of viewing the world. At its core, Bayesian logic supposes that to answer a question we should not only look at current data or data that we have at hand, but also include past experiences or prior data or prior information. It's this concept of prior information that is key and truly sets apart Bayesian logic from other forms. With the additional concept of prior information, comes more decisions and questions, such as what does prior information look like? When looking at teaching the concept of a weighted mean last year, what is it about that experience, that class, for better or for worse, uh, that I can use when planning the same lesson for tomorrow? Or possibly how much weight or emphasis do I want to place on prior information? So if I want to reflect on when I introduced the concept of experimental design last year, how much of an emphasis do I want to place on that experience when planning the same lesson to teach next week? In parts of my research, I will use Bayesian methods to answer quantitative questions. By doing so, this allows me to be more transparent to my audience. And in this way, I'm allowed to give detailed rationale of all of the decisions and assumptions that I make throughout the entire process. Um, now, I have my hopes that all researchers everywhere will adopt Bayesian methods into their own work. I also realize that a full-fledged adoption of Bayesian methods um, is unlikely. But then a question arises that, what is a realistic goal? And an answer to that question uh, is to create some sort of harmony between Bayesian methods and other research methods in a way that combines the best of both worlds. Thank you.